Hello everyone, welcome to the another episode of Edu Canteen. Today we will discuss about the entrance exam of RBI DEPR exam and that uh, Department of Economic and Policy Research. So for that discussion today we have with us Kostab. Kostab uh, last year Kostab joined as a manager at IPI DEPR. And before that, Kostab did his a master's in economics from JNU. And after that, he did MPhil from IGIDR. Then he worked at KPMG for four months. And after that, in last year, he joined RBI. So let's welcome welcome to Kostab. Kostab, welcome to our show. Thank you. So let's, uh, let's start the question answer session. So uh, this to start that session to start about that RBI DEPR. So I will ask, I will want to know from you about that Department of Economic and Policy Research, that department, which kind of job you guys do, and about the department, about the work culture, about the work. So uh, in RBI, we join through three streams. Like one is that the other is economics, and the third one is the general. Yeah. So. so the economics uh, uh, people are mostly posted in three departments. One is the Department of Economic and Policy Research. Then the other department is MPT, Monetary Policy Department, in which we, you have officers from statistical, uh, statistical cadre, general cadre, and uh, economics cadre posted. And that uh, department is uh, for monetary policy. And then there is a small department called International uh, Department, which deals with G20 and IMF, all these things. That also is post uh, is staffed mostly by DEPR people. And like in all other departments, there are some posts of DEPR. So our work profile is quite varied. So it, so in DEPR and in MPD, uh, multi-post division, there, the departments are divided into divisions. So in DPR, I think like there are 15 divisions. So one division is for banking, the other division is for non-banking, one division is for uh, payment uh, system, the, the other one is for uh, national accounts, not the one is state finance. So different uh, for every department, not for every department, like every function of RBI, there is a research division in DPR. Okay. And then there are two, three uh, separate uh, divisions, uh, such like strategic research unit uh, in which I am posted and the policy research group. These okay. two divisions are focused solely on research. So we don't have any desk work. So in all other works, which is related to some function of RBI in those divisions, we have some desk work also like we have to compile data. We have to keep the uh, so national account data in form, not national account, uh, balance of payment data okay. uh, in a format. Similarly, uh, in MPD, like my friend is posted in transmission division, so he has to keep track of interest rates. So this is the desk work. Plus, uh, every division does some research based on their uh, area. So okay. they maintain data that is their day-to-day uh, -day job. And beside that, they have to also do long-term research. And research could be uh, as small as writing a bulletin article for RBI magazine okay. uh, or, or contributing to annual report to writing a full-placed working paper in, published in RBI or some good journal. And uh, unlike the other uh, general uh, cadre, in general garden, your performance will be evaluated based only on your desk work, day to day okay. desk work. Okay. In DPR, your performance, 50% of the performance will be evaluated on your day to desk desk work, and 50% of the marks will be on your independent research, how much you okay. contributed to, to the annual report or uh, um, bulletin article or the papers you have published, where you have published. So in that way, it is different from general cadre. Okay. Okay. So the profile, I would say, if I if you want to say about the DPR, it's quite varied. Like if you are in international division, my friend is heavily in, uh, involved in the coming G20 meeting. So like he, he went to Delhi uh, 15 days back, then he went... Uh, now he's going to pinch Tiger Reserve, like 
so okay uh, the rbi is a uh, very good guest house uh, uh, there so they are organizing pre meeting uh, before g20 okay. in paint okay. a brainstorming session then there was another brainstorming session in like yach yach you see the show in the movie so so like uh, every department uh, have these interesting thing and now coming to my division so my division is strategic research unit so it was created by raghuram rajan okay, uh, okay. separate from dpr just under him and he recruited only phd there but okay. when like the change of guard happened in uh, rbi they shifted that strategic research unit uh, into dpr and when i got selected i got posted there i am only non phd posted in uh, Okay. okay so their work is quite quite interesting so uh, it's like you have uh, to work with only the phd's uh, from each expert in their field and like i am learning uh, so much from my basic task is to do now casting for indian gdp okay so uh, i can't discuss much about the exact model but uh, my basic is and like and the way rbi trains you say so like we had training on bayesian econometrics then uh, i had an imf training on now casting then recently on applied econometrics uh, there was a training or so uh, rbi trains you well also so if you are interested in research if you are interested mm-hmm. and with good salary yeah like the, the salary and perks mm-hmm. uh, i would say it's, it's a dream job like right not much work pressure Mm-hmm. Oh, and oh. Uh, so that's the profile oh. and the profile will vary like in some division mm-hmm. you you might get bored like it's only data compilation mm-hmm. uh, in some it's only research in some it's only travel like travel like going uh, good places so it, and the key rotating so it's like right. you will experience everything mm-hmm. okay okay fine we get a idea about that job role and that department so now now i will go to the exam like exam we have as, as far as no there are three papers so can you give a little brief overall idea about the about the paper like first paper is mcq or not then about the paper and what is the eligibility criteria to get and to appear in exam and at which time of year the notification comes out and what is the usual number of seat every year just give a brief on this so um time of notification is random so okay. i can't predict <laughs> it's even they can't predict uh, we have to keep uh, updated with the website that ibi yeah, got yeah so, so so unlike upsc it's not that uh, mm-hmm. like most probably will come every year but that's all when it will come we don't know uh, the second is uh, about number of seats that also is random so but in the last 3 4 years the seats are quite number of seats are quite good and rbi is very keenly thinking on expanding on its research department okay uh, so i think the seats uh, will come next year like for some years good number of seats will come in rbi okay okay uh, then uh, people yes. so hmm. the eligibility you have to yep. be master in economics and recently they have added mba in finance also eligible for that. yeah uh now uh, coming to the paper so there is one paper pre in which they ask economics so okay. i have appeared three times for this uh, uh, exam uh, for mm-hmm. first two time i missed very narrowly mm-hmm. so I-, i see the nature of that paper evolving so the first time i gave that paper it was quite easy it was like jr okay so people were scoring nine, even 90 out of 100 okay then then it got a bit more uh, technical next uh, year and the last one in which i got through it was really tough okay okay so and uh, they don't give you questions like unlike upsc mm-hmm. they don't give you question uh, they don't display paper after the exam Okay, right. Yeah. So we have to guess it. So my advice uh, for that paper would be get your basics right. So thirty number econometrics, seventy number economics, 
get numerical right uh, mandal framing islm bp in macro like okay if you raise uh, interest rate government is like uh, is shift lm shift uh, uh, the elasticity so islm bp i think is important uh, islm numerical they are general equilibrium they are my micro so i would say numerical like delhi school entrance okay okay and in econometrics first time they focus on stats also and like good conceptual question from stats also so mm-hmm. do not ignore the basic stats got it and uh, that's all and for econometrics i think gujarati but uh, that i would say uh, it's objective paper if you have good concepts if you can apply you can solve you have a good numerical ability mm-hmm. it's a paper you can score and take the edge because it's an okay. objective paper then uh, in the and the unlike general this prelims marks adds uh, yeah. in the total score mm-hmm. so it's important okay okay then uh, the second paper is the economics paper in which they ask you so it's uh, is exam to test your writing ability about economics so you know like paper when how much technical knowledge you have economics mm-hmm. in objective now they want to test is like okay can you write can you express it in clear terms can you write articles on yeah, right. that okay. is what that is what they are trying to see so that is why they give you the options so it's not about knowledge and it's about knowing few things but few things well so like they give you 10 questions you have to write five questions in it. Mm-hmm. so that much price they give and uh, that is divided into two sections so in section 1 there are five questions of, about general economics mm-hmm. and section 2 there are five questions about uh, indian economics okay okay and you have to compulsorily attempt two from each so okay. you can attempt two from first and three from the next or you can mm-hmm. three from the first two from the next okay okay and the trick is in the indian economy section all three times they ask straight like they form a question out of a chapter so mm-hmm. they given uh, the uh, chapter title as a question okay from okay. last last three years okay you just, like if you remember uh, if you can express the economic survey chapter in 10 uh, 6 7 pages mm-hmm. in your own words what okay. is okay Okay. Yep, the okay. idea of that one of the like one of the five will be taken care of okay similarly if you get hold of budget and if you get hold of uh, uh, finance commission mm-hmm. or some some very constitutional or statutory committee reports uh, so economic survey budget and like things like uh, finance commission so like if finance commission report is um, um released then the like the, the question can come on center state to fiscal relation and uh, so it's not that you you have to know the finance commission you have to write seven eight pages answer okay so so it's like what are the recommendation what are the problems why mm-hmm. those recommendation what what are the other things other than those recommendation like everything what are the other committees uh, uh, saying so in indian economy that because otherwise indian economy is quite vast right so for five question like you will write two question three question and for that you have to write, read all the indian economy so the point is economic survey budget and, uh, and 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 then not just the the facts in the budget like is like what were the problems of the economy and how budget is trying to challenge like okay. solve it will it able to solve or the the debates uh, the the pertinent debates that is going on uh, in the uh, uh, economy there that also can uh, might come in the form of question in uh, general economics part mm-hmm. there is always one question from isl and bp okay okay so there are 12 graphs uh, mm-hmm. perfect capital mobility imperfect popularity in, in imperfect also there is the elastic in elastic Uh, BP curve, like steep BP curve, flat BP curve, uh, fixed exchange rate, flexible exchange rate. So there are twelve graphs. Out of this, like 
like they pick four graphs mm-hmm. form the question and they give you have to just write the explain the graph so mandal islm bp 12 those 12 graphs one okay. question is guaranteed and like, that's 